So with this, we are now ready for the first semi-final competition this evening. The judges question and answer around. Mas makikilala pa natin kung sino ang ating mga kandidata behind the handsome faces, behind the beautiful physique that they possess. Each candidate will approach the center stage and will pick the name of the judge. Now the selected judge will then ask him a question. Candidates, listen carefully. You all only have 45 seconds to answer the question. And when you hear this sound, this sound will indicate na limang segundo na lamang ang natitira para sagutin ninyo ang inyong katanungan. Five seconds will remain when you guys hear that chime. Now, with this said, simulan natin by calling in our first semi-finalist. Alright, let's start by calling in Kinoon number three, Mayandok Peter, James Domingo. Peter, congratulations, you've made it this far. You're part of the top ten. Question and answer now, I want you to pick a number. Actually, ito yung mga judges. Andito sila, sorry, hindi ko na na-fan. Ikaw na bahala pumili, pwede yung nasa labas, yung nasa gitna, yung nasa pinakadulo, up to you. Ayon, alright. Wow. Medyo kapit na kapit yung view. Alright, here we go. Candidate number three, your question will be coming from Mr. Joshua Lily Hagen. Great man of the universe, Philippines 2022. Hello. Uh, how are you feeling tonight? Feeling good? Feeling well, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Congratulations on making it to the top, to the top 10. Uh, your question from me is, when does a boy become a man? I'll repeat it again. When does a boy become a man? Boy becomes a man when he know, in no matter what age, in all walks of life, no gender could be defined responsibility. A boy become a man when he know what to bring to the table. As a man, we all thought that we don't ask help, but that's what I thought also. A man should know also ask help. Because I have a situation in life where I thought everything was under control, but there was a time uh, circumstances come and I forgot that I have people in my back, my left and right. So become a uh, become, uh, boy becomes a man when he becomes the B, the B boy. Be the better version of yourself. My father once told me that you, be, you can have anything all you want because you become, you become, the, you become the more person that who you want to become. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, wow. Thank you for that question, Joshua. Moving on now to the next finalist. We have Kino on number six, Bamban Emerson Gomez Jr. All right, number six, congrats, congrats. Now please choose the name of the judge that we're going to be asking for your question. Your question will be coming from Miss Aura International 2021 and the chairman of the board of judges, Alexandra Faith Garcia. Hi, candidate. Good evening. Good evening as well, Miss. How are you feeling? Um, I'm kind of feeling excited. All right. Here's your question. What completes a man? I repeat, what completes a man? For me, what completes a man is that when he became independent and learned to love. Because lear learning to love is that you will experience heartbreak and by that you will be able to know how to be a man. And as a proud Tarlakenyo, I am proud to say that I am a maning maningning at magiting for I am a ray of light to our fellow Tarlakenyos and I am strong uh, and I am strong to face the uncertainty of life. Just like the mountains of Bamban, I stand tall and firm. And that is all. Thank you. Fearlessness and strength is what defines a man according to to Kino on number six, Bamban. Moving on, moving on now to the next contestant. We have Kino on number seven, Tarlac City, Mark Anthony C. All right, Mark, congrats, congrats. Top 10. Konti na lang. Andito na yung Kino on Kalahi crown. We're going to find out who your question will be coming from. Please choose an envelope. All right, your question will be coming from the CEO of I Provide Inc. and clothing line brand I Style Inc. Amanda, gay, Escanlao. 
Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm good, Pa. Thank you. Here's your question. What is one thing in this world that you most believe in? I repeat. What is one thing in this world that you most believe in? Um, I'm sorry, sorry. Can you repeat the last word? What is one thing in this world that you most believe in? One most thing I believe in this world is that I serve my passion and purpose. That's why I'm here, because of my passion and purpose. My purpose of giving back to the community and my burning passion to promote and share my advocacy. Thank you. All right, thank you, thank you very much. Now we move on to Kino on number eight, Moncana, Gewo Dan Kibuyan. Gewo. I came across your name and it's spelled quite unusually. Get well, no? I, I just hope I'm saying your name properly. Is it get well? Jewel. Jewel! Oh my goodness, I apologize. Kay na pala na mo murder ang iyong pangalan. Jewel Dan Kibuyan. Jewel, ang dami mong supporters, ang dami mong fans. Baka gusto mo mag-hello or mag-thank you sa kanila. Thank you po sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa akin. Alright, here we go. Choose an envelope, bro. What is the defining problem that teens have a hard deal, hard time to deal with today, and why? Do you want? I'll repeat. Okay. According to you, what is the defining problem that teens have to deal with today, and why? In the last pandemic, teens are. Ino problema na mga kabataan ngayon ay ang kanilang pag-aaral. Sabagkat, ang, ang nakaraan na pandemya ay hindi madali para sa atin. Naniniwala naman po tayo na lahat tayo ay nawalan ng pag-asa. At ang mga kabataan ay nawalan ng pag-asa sa pag-aaral nila. That's why I have this advocacy to support one another, to love and honor and understand one another. That's all. Thank you po. Mankana, Jewel, Dan, Kibuyan. Moving on out to the next finalist. Let's call in from Bamban. You know, on number nine, Jovi Morande. Jovi, I noticed dalawa ang Bamban na sumali sa competition na ito. Grabe. Does that give you more pressure or mas nakakakampante ba knowing na dalawa kayo nagre-represent ng Bamban? I would say that I'm just really grateful, grateful that, we, that they sent a two representative on my municipality. Yon, siyempre, kayang-kaya ng bamban yan. Good luck. Choose an envelope, please. Question will be coming from, once again, Ms. Aura International 2021 and the Chairwoman of the Board of the Judges, Alexandra Faith Garcia. Hi, candidate. Congratulations for making it to the top 10. My question for you, is online dating a good thing or a bad thing? I repeat, is online dating a good thing or a bad thing? I would say that I do not have any problems, especially if people fall in love through online or social media. But my most concern is you do not really know the person. You, you do not really know the person. So you should need to be careful. And, you know, love has no boundary and love can be in different forms. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful answer there from Pampan and Joby Morante. This time, let's head on over to Kapas. Kino on number 10, Alvin Bautista. Alvin, you're part of the 10 semifinalists. We're moving on to the next round of the competition. How does that make you feel? I feel really great and blessed because I can see over there my mom supporting me all the way. Supportado, supportado ng pamilya. Congrats and good luck. Question will be coming from the judges. And he is the, an entrepreneur and communications and marketing head of Charles and James Light Whiskey. Guapo, guapo, si Franco Mate. Hi, how are you? Hello, sir. I'm good. Are how are you? Okay. Pretty nervous? <laughs> A little bit, but I have no choice. <laughs> Okay, so here's your question. 
if you have to delete one app on your phone, what would it be and why? Again, if you have to delete one app on your phone, what would it be and why? If I am given a chance to delete one app to my phone, it would be Twitter. We all know that Twitter has so many sensitive contents nowadays where, um, where, where a lot of us people enjoying it even though it is something very upsetting. And always remember that we should be really careful about what we are posting online and and this is our responsibility to to do good things in life because we only we only live once so live it with the fullest thank you so much all right right on time there thank you alvin batista of Capas. you know number 10 now we move on back to tarlac city you know, number 12, Renz Zulueta. Renz, I see your banner, I see your fans. What are you going to for Renz? I, and I hope that brings out the confidence in you to answer this question, bro. Choose an envelope. All right, your question will be coming from Mr. International Philippines 2019, Mr. Levin Argueles. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Paul. Okay, so now, here's your question. Do you think there should be censorship on using social media? I repeat. Do you think there should be censorship on using social media? Okay. The social media is the most important thing of the... sa mga taong nandito. At I believe I can win to inspire na pag-promote ng tourists dito sa... sa Tarlac City to promote the social media app to the data usage coverage and kung di mo kayang tumulong sa isang tao, tulungan mong yung sarili and para maging tulay at modelo sa mga sa mga katulad ko na nangangarap lang para maging inspirasyon thank you all right, here we go. That was Renz Zulueta of Tarlac City. Gino on number 12. Now we move on to Gino on number 13. Santa Ignacia Aldrian David Jr. Aldrian David Jr. of Santa Ignacia. Congratulations. Top 10, bro. Grabe. So, number 13, as you guys know, is an unlucky number. Nung natanggap mo yung number 13, na ano ka ba, parang nawalan ka ba ng gana, parang damn, number 13, unlucky yan. Or mas naging confident ka na parang, I'll prove that number wrong. No, I don't really think that number 13, number 13 is unlucky, but rather, I think when you offset such unluckiness is when you truly become somewhat of uh, somewhat great because truly, nagmining-ning ang magiting and, and our goal here is maging magiting. Hindi ba yun yung question? So good night. This might just be your lucky night. Number 13, Aldrian David, your question will be coming from talent manager and owner of Luminary Talent Management, Mr. Popoy Caritativo. Good evening, uh, Mr. Santa Ignacia, and congratulations. Thank you, Paul. Here's my, my question. If you could convey one message to a young boy who is struggling with bullying, what would it be? I'll repeat the question. If you could convey one message to a young boy who is struggling with bullying, what would it be? The message I would give to that young boy would be to fight. To fight against any adversaries, to fight against any downfall. Because success does not come from never failing, but success come from getting up from failures. If you get up nine, if you get down nine times, you rise up 11 times. I think that when you learn to truly accept that you are just somewhat a nobody, is when you truly learn that you have to be somebody. Let's all choose to become the best versions of ourselves. Let's all push ourselves to try harder. Let's push each and every one of us to become better. And so we create a collective goal in 
bettering the nation, bettering the country, and bettering the society. Mabuhay po ang 7th Life Festival. Mabuhay po ang mabisya ng parla. Amen, amen, brother. <laughs> Marami salamat. That was all the debate of Santa Ignacia. Para ko nang sisermonan. Amen. All right, moving on now. This time we have Kino on number 15 from Paniki Joe Marzin Dunuan. Congratulations, Joe. Isa ka sa pinaka almost, pinaka huling tinawag. No, hindi pa natatawag yung pangalan mo because eight names na yung nasabi. How did you feel? Were you pressured? Were you parang kumakapit ka pa rin or parang nawalan ka na ng pag-asa? To be honest, up till now, I am pressured and I'm nervous. Ayun, syempre, totoo lang naman na dapat nervous yun tayo. It only signifies that we are alive and we want to do our best. Please choose an envelope. Alright, your question will be coming from... Miss Tourism Ambassador Universe 2018, Miss Zar April Burgos. Hi. Hi, good evening, um, Mr. Paniki. Good evening, ma'am. Hi. Um, so, congratulations, and here's your question. How has failure helped you in your achievements? I repeat. How has failure helped you in your achievements? There are many battles in my life that I failed. But I am not giving up to all the failures that I mean. And I am here, standing in front of you, fighting back stronger to win the crown. Thank you so much. All right, pushing on forward towards that crown. Last but not least, we have from San Jose, Kim Carlos Newell, Kino number 16. Kim, or uh, which do you prefer, Kim or Carlos? Kim, Kim, ikaw yung huling tinawag, pero grabe yung fans mo, napakadami. No, hindi pa sinasabi yung pangalan mo or yung number mo. Ano yung nararamdaman mo noong mga panahon na yun? Uh, it was indeed a nerve-wracking nerve moment, but I'm just really grateful to be part of Top 10, and I'm just really grateful for all the San Jose supporting me tonight. Thank you so much. Ayun, at syempre, deserve na deserve mo yung mga palakpangan yan. You have one last envelope. Let's very much. Now, your question will be coming from the Provincial Tourism Officer, Province of Bulacan, Dr. Eliseo de la Cruz, PhD. Hello. Good evening, Kim. Good evening. Good evening po. Okay, yung tanong ko, isasaling ko sa wikang Tagalog. Ang tanong ko para sa iyo, bilang isang Pilipino, ano ang pinakamahalaga para mapanatili ang pagkakaisa sa ating bansa? Uulitin ko, bilang isang Pilipino, ano ang pinakamahalagang paraan para mapanatili ang pagkakaisa sa ating bansa? Maraming salamat, Kim. The most important thing that um, we should do to unite us, every Filipino, is to really respect one another. I, we do have different perspectives in life. We do have different uh, opinions in life. But I do uh, believe that um, despite of these differences that we have, I think we should be respecting one another. We should be loving one another and we should be caring for one another. This, I think, is the main key for us to unite uh, to unite one another and for us to be help for us to have a better Philippines, for us to have a better community. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you once again to all of our 10 semi-finalists. Grabe naman yun, hindi madali. 